Hello everyone and welcome back to Unity of Command. This is the scenario Stalingrad from the Axis campaign of the base game. August 6th, 1942. Stalingrad, nearly overlooked in the original campaign plans, turns into a focal point owing to the powerful symbolism of its name. Under Hitler's orders to take the city at any cost, German troops have no choice but to give it their best in an epic battle that may prove to be the turning point in the entire war. Right. Um, this is of course uh, the, the... This is supposed to be the pinnacle of this uh, game. I mean the subtitle is, is even Stalingrad campaign, Unity of Command Stalingrad campaign of the whole game. So you would think that, especially after such a description, you would think that it's an epic battle. And it is actually a very, very interesting scenario. Very difficult, or quite difficult rather. Uh, very well made, but um, I wouldn't call it epic. It's more of a... Um, it's more... It's more It's more like uh, trench warfare. And um, it takes a lot of skill to win this with a uh, um, brilliant victory. But actually you can... Um, reliably win it once you know what you're doing. It's a very interesting map, but also very, very small in scale. Um, I think the high point of this is that it illustrates quite um, vividly and tangibly how desperate the fighting on both sides wa was and uh, constant losses everywhere. And, you know, it's just one step forward, it's one step backwards all the time. It's a really interesting scenario, so I, I highly recommend this one. The numbers here don't tell the tale, so um, ju judging by the numbers, the Soviets barely, uh, barely outnumber the, the Axis forces. But in reality, the uh, AI is going to receive huge amounts of reinforcements, the biggest by far that we have seen so far. Um, everything from green infantry units to, to extremely strong tank formations, tank divisions, uh, infantry steps, uh, armored steps, a lot of special steps, um, specialist steps. So it's it's a really um, a really desperate battle. So whenever you you think you're making any progress or some progress, the AI is just spawning new units uh, to replace the ones that have been lost. It's it's a really um, it's a battle that you're going to remember. Let's just put it this way. Uh, on the other hand, we have three uh, special actions that we can make use of: two air attacks per turn, a logistics one to raise the capacity of the range of one supply source and an air supply drop. I really wish we had more than one. Uh, two probably would have sufficed, but with one it's very tricky. All right, let's take a look at the scenario. And uh, that's it. So the map is relatively small, as I said, and all the battle, all the real fighting takes place in this small little uh, quadrant or front sector of the map. So it's actually, um, like I said, more of a trench warfare style. Um, small gains are made, uh, which are which are then lost uh, due to uh, enemy counterattacks. That are all, all gains and all losses are always very costly. So be prepared to lose a lot of uh, forces here, unfortunately. Um, but what's really interesting is that you only need to capture uh, the two victory, uh, sorry, the two city hexes of Stalingrad. Stalin's namesake city on the Volga, uh, and both need to be taken by the end of turn 8. So if at any point you control the two uh, city axes, you have won, regardless of how the actual situation is. And as you can see, as you will see, we did not really win a very clean victory. I replayed this map on as a scenario, which is identical, so no, no uh, advantage or disadvantage there. And uh, then there I managed to gain a, a far cleaner victory. Um, but otherwise the strategy is, is quite the same. Uh, I'll explain everything in a moment. Based on this, we can, you can say that there are like three um, main frontline sectors. There is one in the south across the Aksa River. And uh, there might be one in the, in the middle, but we are going to ignore this one. And uh, the main, of course, the main front line is here directly, the closest to the city itself and where most of the fighting is going to take place. Unfortunately, these hexes are uh, swamp hexes. We are going to get, uh, this is going to be 
problematic later on. Uh, as for the rest of the the front sectors, um, the thing is that that we only need to defend. So in the extreme north and in the extreme southwest, um, the your only objective is to not allow the Soviets to cross the rivers and your basic reset. The the forces there in both of these sectors are ex are far superior to yours. That's where we have our auxiliary forces like the Italians in the north. We're going to receive more Italians, by the way, and the Romanians in the south. And what's really, really uh, cool about this map is the supply. So you cannot really cut off the Soviets, as you can see. They have uh, supply sources on the roads. They have supply sources just behind the city itself and off-road as well. Not that, um, that it would work well. So you can cut off small chunks of units. That's possible, but you cannot really uh, like um, force uh, huge groups to run dry and just, just wash off the map. Uh, however, our supply situation is, is extremely unusual. We have no supply sources on the roads, so what that means is that they're all limited, as you can see. Fortunately, we can uh, raise the, s the ranges of our supply by one each turn, and you absolutely have to raise this one, otherwise you will not win the game. Uh, your main thrust is from the northwest, so uh, there are a few units in the south, so, uh, and you will have to do quite a lot of shuffling with them. And uh, the way this map works is that you'll have to force a riv the river crossing, force the bridgeheads, keep destroying units, then keep have to retreat regularly to get back in supply. Slowly, gradually, your supply situation is going to um, evolve and is going to improve as you keep raising the range of this supply source. Um, another thing to note is that in order to win, you will have to make sure that you 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 allocate as many of your units as you possibly can to the front line. So I actually leave this unit behind, but this might be a mistake. Um, you absolutely have to put everything forwards, except for maybe the auxiliary forces. O at the same time, you have to be careful not to let the, the Soviets cross this bridge or else they will cut you off and that can be quite painful. Uh, I've had quite a few attempts before I won this scenario um, and one of them I think I only failed because I was cut off. Alright, so forces. I already mentioned that we have uh, Romanians in the south and uh, one Italian unit at, at the moment in the north. We're going to receive two Italian uh, units in the next two turns. I'll talk about one of them when it arrives because it's going to be a bit interesting. And also on turn three we're going to receive a standard German infantry division and that's it. So if you're aiming for a normal victory you're going to receive a huge amount of forces later on but uh, they only arrive after a turn eight. So uh, they, they obviously we cannot make use of them. Um, in the middle we have two tank divisions, Panzer divisions. They are, they're quite relatively depleted, five and four steps each. In the south we have f one further tank division, but uh, you should immediately withdraw it after maybe fighting a bit, withdraw it and in the next turn uh, reorganize it so you can reallocate the steps to the northwest. Unfortunately, this gets better than beaten already on the first turn, so we, only can we will only be able to allocate two of its steps. And interestingly, I'm going to actually lose all of my um, armored units in this, in this match, in this battle. The AI is quite, uh, is quite capable of destroying any one unit of yours that it focuses on. We also have a few uh, motorized divisions which are key to success and uh, they're veteran so this is like your armored spearhead it's it's not it's not looking very hot to be honest uh, already in this in the face of this uh, um, opposition let alone what comes later and we have a bunch of infantry units in the south we have very few units and we don't receive reinforcements all of our reinforcements come from the northwest so strategy um, the strategy is to mop up the forces on our side of the river so clear out everything and force the bridgeheads. Uh, actually, the northern one is better because uh, the, the area behind it is clear and not um, swamp. You know, swamp gives the def basically any kind of terrain gives the defenders a, a bonus, defensive bonus. And uh, it also slows down supply quite considerably. And just dip in and out, send units and, and jump on opportunities whenever you see them and try to threaten the city, try to work your way towards the city. Eventually, the, the AI is going to move almost all of its units from the south to the, to the northeast as well. 
and that's your cue to try to start pushing with your remaining German units as well. In the south, in the meantime, all you need, all you should do is try to uh, engage in battles that are favorable to you, so where the enemy uh, losses are far higher. And there will be many times when you will think that you are on the brink of breaking through and vi winning the whole scenario, and each turn, each and every turn, the AI is going to receive a huge amount of reinforcements all over the map. Some come here on this island, some come from uh, the extreme northeast, some from northeast, some come nearer, and uh, so be prepared to be frustrated the first time you play this, but it's not that bad. Uh, you, will real you will see how you can actually win this with relative certainty. Just be prepared that what you see is always like half of the forces that you will have to fight. Uh, and as I've said, they will receive an ungodly amount of uh, specialist steps of all types. They already have Katyushas, artillery guns, uh, KV-1 tanks, T-34, at least one T-34. NKVD troops are holding the city. They have the weaker guns as well. They're going to receive all these f uh, specialist steps all throughout the map, uh, the scenario. So, yeah, so be prepared. Um, you can give up the middle sector, as I've said, there is nothing that you need to protect here, so you can reallocate these forces slowly to the north by making them cross the river. This is actually, uh, this is these actually are quite a few, three full infantry divisions that you cannot, you know, just let stay here. And otherwise there is not no real um, strategic depth to it, it's, it's more of a um, uh, war of attrition than anything else, so you have to make sure you to make favorable trades, work your way towards the city and just capture it. So let's see how it went. We start by raising the range of our most important supply source. And as I've said, I'm going to uh, clear out this this uh, bridgehead or whatever these trapped Soviet units here. O also try to make sure to not overrun too many units because the AI will be able to uh, attack your unit and with every overrun, you are going to get um, st some steps suppressed, so your unit is getting progressively weaker. As you will see, we fail this objective a few times. Um, this is kind of the easy part, um, because it's, it's our backyard, it's our, uh, our side of the map, where we have to clean out, clean up. But, uh, yeah, the real meat of this scenario is when you cross this river and Kar Karpuka river and then uh, force your way onto this uh, towards the city always make sure to have this hex blocked off because as I've said this is a bridge and the AI loves to cut you off there and yeah we we already reallocated some units. I actually forget to move with this unit on turn one, but that's fine. We will do with the reinforcement later on as well. And I know you might think that we have huge amounts of forces, then that's more than enough, but that's not the case. Actually, uh, we are going to be depleted very soon because we're going to take huge losses. The enemy you're facing is stronger than anything you faced before. And uh, after this attack, we lose half of our Panzer Division. Unfortunately, I withdraw it back to supply. I would have uh, reorganized it anyway the next turn because uh, you you don't really you shouldn't really keep it here in the south. It's kind of worthless, and its steps can uh, boost the other two units quite well. Um, but I would have liked to <coughs> to reallocate four uh, steps instead of two. Yep, the south front is done, and. After a bit more of shuffling and the resupply from the air, we give the we give the command over to the AI. Um, the AI actually likes to counterattack in the south as well for some reason. I don't understand why it's we're not really a threat uh, there, and we don't receive reinforcements or anything like that. So it's really interesting, but in any case, it's going to eventually give up and run out of troops and. Uh, yeah, you can just stabilize. You the only thing you need to do is keep your mobile uh, mobile infantry, motorized infantry alive, and cause the the AI as much casualties as many casualties as you can. And eventually, you can actually break through and join the siege of the city, as you will see. All right. Now it's time to finally clean out the r the rest rema last remaining straggler units in the middle and yes this is not a real issue 
Uh, I really don't like having enemy units on our side of the river because they can move in tricky patterns and again uh, and can uh, disrupt our supply lines, which is not very healthy. S now almost everything is in supply, but you know we still need a few turns before I could call it healthy. I removed the tank division from the south. And yeah, as I said, our only objective here is to make favorable trades, which is going perfectly. Right? And we're also um, gaining experience. The a breakthrough here would be quite impossible, but this unit is actually quite weak, so let's see if we can crush it. And we absolutely can. Now it's totally worthless, so even though it's on the other side of the river, we, we simply crush it. And I rushed towards the city, and this was not a very good idea, especially with the overrun. This unit now has only two active steps, and I was I was afraid it would get destroyed, so I tried to surround it with other units. As you will see, it won't work. I'm a, as I've said, I'm going to lose all my uh, all my um, tank units in this battle. One is already off the map. So we spawned the motor Italian motorized division. As you know, the, the motorized division of the Italians is not superior to, well, to anything. They have one attack and one defense, and they're not superior to their standard infantry. They're good enough for holding the line, so we just dig them in and trench them and this unit as well. I'm always I was always afraid they would the Soviets would simply march towards this uh, supply source, but obviously this way they can't. And reorganizing infantry steps is a good idea, because then you can... Um, because then you can uh, um, reallocate them to, for instance, the the motorized divisions where they are much better. You know, they're d you can put them to better use. And the reshuffling you saw in the south was simply to to have a better uh, frontline posture here. You know, this unit on the front, the AI won't attack it across the river. It would be a very bad idea. And now it's turn two for the Soviets, and that's when the dance begins. A seven-step unit with uh, a gun, and this is just you know the the first act of what they can do. And unfortunately, the AI sees that that this unit was weakened and it destroys, removes our uh, tank unit from the map. I was very saddened, much saddened by it. I actually thought I lost again uh, when this happened, but uh, fortunately, the AI makes unfavorable trades. So. Um, even though we lose units, they lose more, and so we can capitalize on it later. As I said, this is a war of attrition, so this works out. And of course, they received uh, steps as well, because of course they did. Ten steps, and a specialist step, and another specialist step, and another specialist step. So you can, as you can see, um, yeah, the, the, their supply of units is quite inexhaustible. All right, turn three, our strategy remains the same. We supply drop, and I'm kind of afraid for this unit, but I also want to push and threaten. And since this unit entrenched itself, it's temporarily weakened, so it's a good time to attack it, to bomb and attack it. And it worked out well if we could follow up on this attack. Uh, that would have been quite successful, but unfortunately we couldn't. We are too far with our better units to, to do anything about it. Yep. We link up, but that's not really working out, so we withdraw it back to supply. And yeah, anywhere you can make favorable trades is a good one. And again, this unit I'm quite nervous about because it's on our side of the river. And we spawn the two units uh, we receive for this turn. One of them is this infantry unit, which is going to guard the bridge. And the other one is this very interesting unit. Uh, it's an Italian Sforzesca, Italian infantry unit, which has a unique special step, the Black Shirts, fascist volunteers. This is by far the weakest um, specialist step in the whole game so far. It, ad it adds two, it confers two attack and two defense points. Uh, the NKVD uh, confers four each, and it, it has an additional trait, discourage retreat. So this is the weakest um, um, specialist step, but it's still a waste on this um, Italian infantry division. And what you can do, and I didn't do it, so that's a mistake, so I highly recommend you do that, 
is you remove the specialist step but not this turn if you remove it immediately then you're just removing it you're not reorganizing this and you won't be able to reallocate it so wait until turn four and before doing anything else with this unit re reallocate the specialist step you can do that separately so you don't need to reorganize the whole unit on turn five you can allocate that unit to uh, sorry allocate that specialist step to any unit including your panzer divisions or any german unit as well and uh, that's actually a great addition that's that's the only thing you can boost use to boost your your other units so if you can uh, raise one of your motorized divisions to seven steps plus this eighth uh, specialist step i know it's not nothing major but it's it's still going to be quite useful um, unfortunately in, in this playthrough i just let it stay here and it's it's literally gonna stick to this unit all throughout the game and not do anything i don't think they even have one battle at all Alright, in the south our strategy has not changed, but f you due to this unit having moved, the, the gun is out of commission for this turn, so we tried to capitalize on it, and it worked out decently. We reinforced the tank with, uh, the, sp uh, with the units that we, um, that we uh, reallocated from, uh, from the south. Unfortunately, on the Soviets' third turn, they cut us off, so they won't be back in supply. And as usual, the AI counterattacks. The AI is very aggressive in this scenario, and uh, t and as I've said, it likes to make even unfavorable trades. Um, but that's still not, you know, not very nice. We have very few, very limited units on at our disposal, so anything that uh, any any results the AI gets is kind of permanent. All right, our supply is back to ten. And I still want to threaten. Uh, a great way to spook the AI is to, you know, go for the uh, uh, the victory axis. But it didn't work out. The two air attacks did literally nothing. They both whiffed. So I changed strategy, and instead of suiciding my units, I want to uh, want to make, you know, want to straighten up our front line, remove this unit from existence. It shouldn't be that difficult. It's in a cornered uh, state. Always reorganize weakened units, by the way. So after a bit of fighting, we remove that weakened unit as well. We resupply the tank unit, so it's at full strength, six steps, that should be more than enough. And finally this unit is going to fall, and we have a bridge connection here, which is actually not in supply due to the um, swampy area, but the, the bridgehead is, a, is an achievement by itself. Alright, that unit is still annoying, but we are slowly trying to remove it. And we use the black shirts to, to hold the bridge. They're, they'll do a good job at that, but you know, I think the specialist steps could be used in a better way. Right in the south, we just continue our not very interesting strategy. And, yep. And this was a, probably a, well, I don't know if it was a bad move. Uh, I regretted doing it later on, but it might have actually won me the game. Uh, this unit is in full supply, has five active steps and it's veteran, it's a panzer division. This is the best unit on the battlefield technically. And the AI is going to destroy it, but it's going to suffer huge casualties while doing so. Alright, turn for the Soviets and be prepared for the onslaught. Two uh, infantry units with seven steps and they're both veteran. And our unit is cut off and now the AI capitalize on it uh, because it could be cornered and unfortunately that's that's not nice yeah it, it fought bravely valiantly but it got destroyed um, the Soviets at this moment are relatively weak but we have also suffered quite a lot of casualties at the very least on our turn 5 the our way has, has kind of opened from the south these two units are quite pathetic and so uh, I opt to, to join forces with the southern German, German units so that, uh, you know, they can, we can boost the main attack. Our supply situation is also getting progressively better. Right? Um, and the Soviets have a lot of straggler units, you know, weakened uh, divisions that, that are not really that threatening. Yeah, ac attacking across the river into an artillery unit is never a good idea, but slowly and surely we will clear it out yep finally we destroyed every unit on our side of of the river on our bank of the river air attack twice and this NKVD unit is kind of forfeit and it's time to launch uh, our assault from the south and show them what we're made of 
yes, uh, we there is there was a reason I didn't attack that unit again, because if I had, we, I would have overrun it again, and we would have been even more depleted out of supply, and that's uh, that that would have jeopardized the this unit. You don't need to hold the supply route. You are not receiving supply from the route anyway, and it it won't reach here anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right. And that's a neat little trick. Um, you can only uh, reorganize or supply units with reorganized steps, which uh, so only units which were in supply at the beginning of your turn. However, if you lose uh, steps during your turn because it, it attacked and you know the enemy uh, caused it casualties, you can still allocate more uh, steps to that. So it's actually uh, um, if your unit is relatively strong enough, then it's actually a better idea to to or in most cases actually it's a better idea to allocate those steps at the end of its actions so that uh, you can fill it up to maximum capacity. All right, the Soviets start receiving their tank divisions, seven steps each. Uh, they are not veteran, but they're still quite formidable. Um, so as you can see, they're, they're nothing to scoff at. And we have our work cut out for us. And this unit cuts us off because it likes the AI really loves to do that. It's not really dangerous. And fortunately, it attacks this uh, motorized division, which doesn't go very well for the AI. This goes better. This went better. And uh, it, it lost quite a few steps trying to dislodge it or, you know, corner it or whatever, and it didn't work out. And it's going to start receiving <laughs> specialist steps. And yeah, it, it will receive so many that it won't even know where to allocate them. All right, turn six. Uh, we have three more turns to capture the two city axes. We're still nowhere near achieving that purpose. But whatever, let's let's continue our strategy. It's going to eventually work out. We can use the Romanians to remove very weakened uh, Soviet formations, even if it's costly. Uh, they are not really useful, so losses don't really matter in that regard. All right, our supply is now up to 12, so it's actually quite... I if we could capture the Northern Bridge, it would be quite okay-ish. Let's see how we go. And I'm really desperate trying to connect up the two uh, front lines here, because otherwise we I have to withdraw these units into supply, and I really don't want to do that. And yeah, as I said, anywhere you can cause them damage, do that and reallocate all forces like thus because you will be able to reinforce your other units with them. All right, this cavalry unit has been bombed and it's been so damaged so much that I actually used my uh, standard infantry unit to attack it first. Then we can overrun it and destroy this other unit as well. Our best unit at the moment in the battlefield on the battlefield this is a veteran uh, motorized division with seven steps reaches the city outskirts and attacks the the defenders it's not <laughs> it's not a very effective attack but you know it's something we have to do and on the soviet's turn they receive even more reinforcements katushas on green units and the t-34 and another t-34 and wow a unit without a specialist step amazing and the tanks have arrived. This is very bad news. These are extremely strong formations, so easily matching your infantry at least. Um, and yes, so uh, be, be prepared to, to be a bit mauled over here. Now my strategy is very simple. In two turns I need to capture these two hexes, and that's the only objective we have. So no matter what, uh, we can lose everything else, but we need to capture these, these hexes. So let's go, let's start with the southern, southwestern half. The city is in ruins, which actually is a good thing. If we can capture it and move in, walk into it, then we probably can hold it more easily. And this should work out um, because um, this unit is almost fully depleted, only the, the NKV, the specialist step works. And yeah, we destroyed it. And we actually managed to enter and keep on attacking. That's probably about it. Uh, I'm still hopeful that in the next turn we can we can achieve victory here. You know, we're in a relatively good position. I don't think they can dislodge this unit. It's in full, it's, it has seven active steps and veteran and the motorized division, so it's pretty strong. And at least from the south, nothing is threatening it. And yeah, I'm still holding the bridgeheads just for fun, uh, but 
as you can see it's it's an all or nothing scenario uh, you can do better a bit you can clear the clear out these units easily and you so you can make sure that you have a kind of more more stable front line but it's still going to be tricky and of course the ai can select our weakened units and and try to uh, remove them from the battlefield and yeah reinforce other units as well so Interestingly, they don't counterattack. They know they cannot dislodge these two units, so all they try to do is is hold the line, which is futile. I mean, it's a pretty poor decision because if we manage to attack, just you know, r dislodge and remove this one unit, then we have won. And it has so many uh, specialist steps that it even allocates it them to to useless units in the in the flanks. All right, final turn. We need to win now. So both bomber air attack, both air attacks go on the city X. One of them was excellent. The other one whiffed. That's life. And now we attack. And we didn't win. We didn't dislodge them. And with the second attack, we overrun and they actually move out and we managed to move in. So fortunately, it still had a movement point left. The areas of control were removed by the previous units, so uh, it could just walk in. We had a billion other units that could have walked in, so it's it's that was okay. Um, as you can see, it's not very clean. If um, if they uh, had a turn to to retake it, they probably could remove a lot of our units and definitely could recapture at least one of the city axes. But uh, yeah, the only objective you have is is these two city axes, and we managed to capture them on time. So that's it strategy is move all units that you can to the front uh, reallocate the tank unit from the, the south into the uh, steps of the, the units in the north and in the in both on both front sectors just try to uh, win a war of attrition and slowly push forwards at least in the north and once you can link up um, once you have done that and keep reallocating don't forget to keep reallocating your weekend units into the stronger ones um, you should make a push for the victory axis. My second attempt, or sort of the, the following attempt, went much much better. So uh, it was still a bit dicey, but you know, uh, the the front line was at least more stable, and most more of my units were in supply. Don't forget to reallocate the black shirts, but not on the turn that you receive them; uh, otherwise, you lose them permanently, and they become a great asset. If they were on this unit, then you know they would it would have been even superior. So that is the the epic tug-of-war scenario of Stalingrad. Um, I hope it helps you if you're struggling with this map. So, but that's not all. Um, the Germans did not, the Axis forces did not win in reality, but uh, we won here in this campaign, so there are a couple of fictitious scenarios coming up, which capitalize on this success. So it's not over yet. And I have to show you all of them to you as well. I thank you all for watching for now, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.